Hey guys, Mike Linares here, and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Before we start today's video, please remember to access your free quiz and preview our cool nifty new study guides not here on YouTube. Click the link right up here at any time during this video. All right guys, let's begin. Now fibrinolytics, aka clot busters, which are not routine for DVTs, but are still used, these guys are like the atomic bomb. They're one-time push drugs. So we give either TPA or streptokinase. But guys, streptokinase has the most allergies associated with it. And the big thing with these atomic bombs is the huge bleeding risk. Since it has an eight hour or less duration, this means we're most at risk to bleed during that eight hour window. So guys, no injections at all, no new IVs, no sub-Qs even for diabetics, no IMs, and definitely no ABGs. These drugs can only be given through a compressible site like an IV. So we never give these through a central line because we can't hold pressure on that central line. Only peripheral lines here. Okay, once the DVT clot is resolved, or to prevent a DVT like after surgery, specifically knee or hip replacement surgery, the patient's usually always placed on both long-acting and short-acting anticoagulant, like warfarin and heparin, at the same time. But guys, this takes about two or three days to reach full effect. So we also give a rapid acting anticoagulant to work right now during the hospital stay. This is our heparin or enoxaprine, which our brand name is Lovenox. These guys act immediately to thin the blood and can only be injected into the patient, never taken orally. And lastly, patients can also go home on antiplatelet medications like aspirin, but usually low dose baby aspirin, like 81 milligrams per day. And before I forget, Plavix is another antiplatelet commonly given. Guys, these help keep platelets from clumping together and forming a clot. All right guys, last but not least, I always like to give patient education tips, especially for the test, when you guys are giving blood thinners or something that doesn't make the blood clot. So guys, pay attention. These are huge test tips, write these down. So the big bleeding precautions that are always on the test and the must knows for the NCLEX. Here we go guys. And if you get confused, I put the drugs that they are most responsible for these at the top here. So no razor shaves, only electric shavers guys. No straining on the toilet. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right guys, see you next time.